All right, so we're trying to find a short to ground uh, in this RV. Uh, when we get the slides, when we try to uh, manually press this button here to get the uh, slides to go out, it blows the fuse. So what we did was we made a little contraption here. And uh, so I got a fuse that I basically cut or melted the top of the fuse off so I could wire or solder some wires to each end of the fuse. And then I have, and then from there, I use some jumper wires to connect it to a light bulb. So, that being said, when I connected this in here, which I gotta make sure that they don't touch, which we should be good there. And what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna plug this back up and we're gonna see if this bulb lights up. If it does, well, the bulb's not lit up so far, so we know up to this point that it's not grounding out yet. So we know that the short to ground is from here on all the way to the slide out motor, which is under this couch right here. So I'm gonna plug it up. Okay. And then we, oh, you got it off? No, it's on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it up and we're gonna see if that light comes on. Okay, and I've gotta be here ready to yank this fuse out just in case, because yep. we don't want anything to happen here, you know? Yep. So. But remember, I can unplug this too. If you see anything, yeah. let me know and I'll just pull this out. Really? Okay, cool. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, I can just touch it first. Yep, light. Lighting? Lighting? Yep, okay. it's lighting. So the short to ground is on this side then. So we're drawing about, yeah. let me yeah. go get my amp clamp, and we're going to measure yeah. how much amperage we have coming through up here. Okay. So we know how much amperage we have in the system overall. Okay, okay? yep. Okay, so we have an amp clamp. We're going to turn it to 60 to 600 instead of 1,000. Hit function so that we're on DC amperage. And we're going to put this around one of these wires. And I think it has an arrow here. So the arrow has to be the flow of current, I believe. So it's going to go like that. Okay. So when I plug it up over here, we're going to see what the amperage is. Okay. The amperage... The amperage should be about one amp because okay. it should, the amperage should be... Does it matter that the bulb's on the ground like that? You can face it up if you want. Okay. The amperage should be what the load is basically, okay? Okay. So let's plug it in and let's see what kind of amperage we have. Alright. Yep. What does it say? 3.76. 3.76 amps? Yep. Well, it's fluctuating. 3.75, 3.74. Okay. But the thing is, is uh -huh. that because we entered a load into the system, which is the lamp, yeah. we know that this system is not taking in more amps than what it normally takes, okay. or the max that it can take, which is 15 amps. Okay. Which we so got okay. To. Great. So what's the next step now? Next step is plug this back in, light that lamp up, yep. and then we have to go around here with the amp clamp yep. and see what the amperage is over here on this wire by the motor. Okay. All right.